They don't use any wood, any charcoal. Everything is cooked, barbecued over dry coconut husk. He's mixing up some sambal for the ikan bakar. So all of the seafood gets that sambal treatment just drenched in the sambal, then back onto the fire. So that's gonna caramelize and that's gonna just completely cake onto all the pieces of seafood. Micah, watch out. Hey everyone, hope you're having an amazing day. It's Mark Weens. I'm in Bali, Indonesia. And Jimbaran Beach is very famous, very well known throughout the entire island of Bali for its seafood. So we're here right in the center right now where you can choose so many different restaurants. We're gonna go to a place which is called Ramayan, Warung Ramayan Ikan Bakar. And we're gonna have a seafood meal on the beach in Bali. Oh yeah, I'm ready for some seafood. Oh, so you can walk out to the beach and then they have, yeah, sure. There's tables on the beach. Yes, hello. They do have some seating more inside, but still open air. And then they have a patio out here in the sand with beach chairs. And then they even have more tables on the actual beach right in front of the water. But we'll choose to sit right here. A bit more shade. Oh, maprao, yes. <laughs> Thank you very much. I think we're ready to, to order. Can we order the, the package? The Rama uh, package? Because of so, so on second thought, he recommended that we get the a la carte because the set package is kind of small. But look at the size of this coconut. And I love how they open the coconut like a giant bowl. Oh, yes. Oh, so much water in there. Oh, with a spoon inside the shell. Fully loaded. Oh, yeah, that's refreshing. Mm. Okay, so they have all the fresh seafood at the front here in ice. Uh, we're gonna get some of the red snappers, which they said is fresh today, and some of the king prawns, some of the calamari. So they're just getting out the fresh seafood. The fire has been lit, and we're gonna see a little bit of how they prepare the seafood. Mostly, is it more busy at nighttime? In the evening? Yes. Okay, many people come in in the evening. Evening time. Oh, okay, okay. Just clean them up now, the calamari, the fish, the prawns, and the, the fire is I mean, still being lit with coconut shells, coconut husks. Ganteng, yeah. Oh, uh, what is ikan snapper? Ikan snapper? Yes. Oh, yes. I love the the Indonesian way of cutting the fish, so it lays flat, kind of butterfly cutting it, so it gets a lot of, as much potential exposure to the grill as possible and lays flat. So this is the marinade, marination. <laughs> marination for the fish, and the marination for the, the calamari. Only the coconut? Yes, coconut. Oh man, and those coconut husks are so hot. You could, I mean, you could feel how much heat comes off of them. Oh, going on. Oh, almost forgot about the clams that we ordered as well. These are local clam? Yes. From Bali? In Bali, clams. Okay, Bali clams? Yes. Fresh, juicy clams gonna go right on the grill as well. Oh, this is turning into a beautiful seafood feast. Oh, over here he's mixing up some sambal for the ikan bakar. That's gonna, I think that's gonna be uh, put onto the fish as it's being grilled. You can never get enough sambal when you're in Indonesia. Oh, I love sambal. Every form, shape, size, type. Oh, nice. Okay, now sambal goes on? Yes. Okay. Sambal. Very good. Is it over oba? Okay. Okay. Oh, nice. The sambal just gets loaded up into every shell like a little cup. So 
all of the seafood gets that sambal treatment just drenched in the sambal then back onto the fire so that's going to caramelize and that's going to just completely cake onto all the pieces of seafood and i think everything should pretty much almost be ready Gotta start with rice actually first. Rice is the foundation of it all. And I have to begin with the, the ikan bakar, the fish. Oh, it's so firm. Okay, put that onto the, onto the rice. Mmm. You immediately taste the smokiness. And the sambal has a little bit of a sweetness. I don't think it's spicy, uh, but it has a bit of a sweetness to it. So it has sugar in it, definitely. Almost a tomatoey flavor as well. Maybe a variety of oyster sauce and soy sauce in there as well, giving it a saltiness, but it definitely has some sugar, which reacts with the fire to caramelize onto the fish, even bringing out the smokiness even more. And they cook the fish really nicely too, so it's not overcooked, so it's really juicy on the inside, uh, preserving the freshness. One of the things I love about ikan bakar grilled seafood in Indonesia is they use such a high heat and they didn't even use any charcoal or any wood actually it was just all dry coconut husk providing this really sharp high heat so that you can kind of scorch the the skin and then scorch that sambal onto the the skin of the fish giving it that really intense smokiness we'll be good with a squeeze of lime juice though And then also there's this sambal, which is a, a sambal with shallots, chilies, and I think it's coconut oil, oh, which I absolutely love. I can eat this on everything. Mm. Oh yeah, shallots, chilies. Oh, I think it's lemongrass. That's the freshness. That's that, that hint of lemony fragrance in there and coconut oil. Okay, those chilies are not really spicy at all, but it is really good flavor. Okay, I'm gonna move into these these prawns. Or he said that they were king king prawns. Mm -hmm. Oh, with that squeeze of lime juice, that's delicious. Again, contrasting the flavor of the the sambal. The shell has been grilled pretty well, so you can even eat the shell. Mm. I asked them for some spicier sambal and they delivered. We've got a, that sambal and the more of the, the fresh sambal with chilies and shallots. And I think, this is the, I think this is the same one just with spicier chilies. Okay, let's move on to the calamari. Yes, those chilies, excellent. Go up the nose a little bit, uh, but again, man, I just love the fresh sambal. The freshness of the shallots, the brightness of the lemongrass, and just that salty coconut oil fragrance. Oh man, that's so tasty. And the calamari is nice, it's a different sambal. When he marinated it, he put it into more of a soy sauce mixture marinade before grilling it, so it has a bit of a different taste from that red sambal that was applied to most of the other seafood. Mm, squid is nice. And then finally, the clams. Mm. You really taste the shallots in that sambal. Uh, and it does more have a tomato-y kind of sweetness to it. And then the, the clams are just there swimming in that sambal. Oh, I like how they cooked the clams. Again, not overcooked but just kind of boiled. When he grilled them, he put on a whole spoon of that sambal. And then when they were on the, were on the grill, they just sort of boiled in their own juices and the sambal to cook them. Oh. That will take it to the next level. 
Mm. When you add the coconut oil sambal and the shallots, it just kind of brings out more of a savory flavor to your seafood and a little bit of spice as well. But out of all the seafood, I'm still, I probably love the fish the best. Oh, I just love fish. Mm -hmm. mm. That part of the fish near the, near the bone and the top fin, oh, it's really oily. Really tasty. And then I saved the meat of the coconut for dessert. Mm. Oh man, perfectly young coconut. That melts in your mouth. Sweet, buttery. That's the perfect ending. Oh, that was good and a really nice meal. I mean, you definitely pay extra for this atmosphere, for this ambience being right here on the beach. Uh, it costs definitely more than if you were to have a seafood meal at Ikan Bakar a little ways away from the beach. But anyway, nice place to sit. And we came here in the middle of the day, so it's blazing hot, really sunny. And I think it's also very popular if you come in the evening at about 5, 6 p.m. when they lay tables, put tables out on the beach for the sunset and a bit cooler weather without the blazing sun. That would be really nice, but all depending on your schedule and your time of the day when you can make it here. I'll have the information in the description box below, and I wanna say a big thank you for watching this video. Please remember to give it a thumbs up. I'd love to hear from you in the comment section below, and remember to subscribe for more food and travel videos. Have a fantastic lunch, and I'll see you on the next video.